What are some tricks in bed that everyone should know? Change your bed sheets. Having a clean bed sheet really changes the ambience and put your thermostat down a few degrees. If you have a fan on low, even if it's not pointed at you, it can create the kind of noise that prevents you from hearing every little house clicking thing happening outside. When it comes to pillows, quality is more important than quantity. Also, don't sleep in your day wear. Tuck the most inaccessible corner first when changing the sheets. Sleep with your own blankets. I seriously don't know how couples share a blanket. I like to roll up like a little burrito. NSFW equals nighttime suggestions for wakefulness. Putting one arm under the pillow makes it more comfortable. Nothing you ever do in bed will feel as good as taking a bath and sliding into a fresh set of sheets. Keeps depression at bay. Make sure to place torches all around your bed so monsters don't spawn and you can jump into bed right away. I recommend putting your phone down at least half an hour before bed to ensure a good night's sleep. Switching the direction you lay in the bed makes it feel like a new bed. Velociraptors can only reach the bottom bunk. If you are sleeping with your sew and they have most of the bed don't be afraid to just sleep on the floor. Buy a comforter one size bigger than your bed. For example, if you have a queen size bed, get a king size comforter. Edit. Since a lot of you are asking and the answer got buried, if you have a king, then the next size up is Wyoming king followed by Alaska king. After that, go make your own damn blanket. Since this was tagged NSFW, don't work from your bed if you're working from home. Separating your workspace from relaxation space will help you be more productive when you're working and disengage from work when you're done. You tend to sleep better when the room is a bit colder than normal. Put your thermostat down a few degrees, not only will you sleep better, but you'll save on heating bills in the wintertime if you live in a colder climate. Never, and I mean never, eat an everything bagel in bed. The results are devastating. Blanky. If you make your twin beds into bunk beds there's so much room for activities. Have at least three layers over you when it's cold. Just like clothing, layering your bedding makes it easier to get and stay warm. And you can easily remove single layers if you get too warm. Don't eat crackers in bed. If you fall backwards onto the bed and lift your legs, you can turn the momentum into a little backwards roll which looks pretty cool. If you have large thighs and sleep on your side, get a pillow for your knees. It will support them better and, that the guys, prevent crushing your bits. Progressive muscle relaxation. Start relaxing your feet, then your calves and thighs. Move upwards and relax your back muscles, your arms and shoulders. Take some deep breaths. Relax your neck muscles and jawline. You will fall asleep in peace. If you can't sleep, count sheep. Don't count endangered animals, you will run out. If you get rid of the bed frame and set it on the floor, it prevents the monsters from hiding under it for extra bedroom safety. Laying on your left promotes digestion as gravity moves food through and cuts down on heartburn. If your mattress is old and starting to feel uncomfortable, instead of replacing it, buy a $100 mattress topper. It can make your mattress feel no gain and give you a few more years of use before you need to replace it. Turn the pillow upside down when it's hot. Make sure to cover your whole body with the blanket for extra defense against the darkness. Match your sheet color to the color of your dog. After having a white husky and dark blue bed set, it's disturbing to see how much hair there is. If you're covered head to toe with your blanket, the bad guys in the dark cannot legally attack you. Edit. Oh well damn I have an internet award now, thanks for that and all the cake day wishes less than 3 feet. Give yourself some extra room by curling up and sleeping on the bench at the end of the bed. It's actually a lot bigger than it seems. Building a pillow fort around you surprisingly makes you feel a lot more comfortable while sleeping. One trick I'm quite fond of is short sheeting. You pull the sheet all the way up to the head of the bed and then you fold the bottom up to sit where the top usually is just in front of the pillows. When someone tries to get into bed they won't be able to stretch their legs out and it is hilarious. Shoes off. If you get a running start before you flip the light switch off, you decrease the chance of monsters under the bed being able to snatch at your feet before you make it to the safety of the bed. Edit. No, I will not bow to the AI overlords and get smart bulbs. Get an electric blanket and tuck it under your fitted sheet. Use the controls to preheat your bed on cold nights. This is most wholesome post. I believe the intention was for dirty responses and I have learned so much from the positive comments. I have multiple pillows depending on how my body wants me to sleep that night. There's firm, medium, soft, and sex. Set the room to absolute zero then cover up in 13 blankets. Don't watch TV right before trying to go to sleep. Listen to music or read a book. Your mind needs less sensory input to be lulled to sleep. A weighted blanket muffles the sound of your vibrator more than a regular comforter. If you double up, no one can hear it. Time turning off the DS so that Mario says bye one second before your mother walks in. If you sleep with stuffed animals, wash them in a pillowcase on a delicate setting and then put them in the dryer on a low setting. I do it about once a month or when I notice I'm getting acne on my jawline or neck. They will have fun getting a bath and jumping around in the bouncy castle. Edit. Forgot to say no more than 3-4 at a time depending on their size and not the pillowcase. Having a bed is more comfy. Strange one isn't it? Lubrication. Especially on the joints and wheels of a metal bed frame to stop them from squeaking when trying to get comfortable when you sleep. If hot, sleep over the sheets, if cold, under. If sleeping with someone, Dutch oven him to show who's boss. If you've got a shitty mattress and can't quite afford a new one, consider investing in a memory foam mattress topper. I got one a couple weeks ago and it's made a huge difference. Storage bins under the bed. No room for monsters. I haven't seen Reddit come together like this in ages. Warms a girl's heart. Wear a blindfold. Since I started wearing one to bed it's helped me fall asleep way faster than before. I recommend a padded one as it's quite comforting. 
So much so you may forget it's there when you wake up. Bonus points if you get the ones with Bluetooth earbuds. Life pro tip. If you want sex advice just say you want sex advice. Otherwise you'll get bed advice. A bunch of melatonin, no phone, ether, and limiting blue light exposure will really help with you falling asleep. Edit. Thank you for all the recommendations to limit my melatonin use. I appreciate the lookout. I use it sparingly throughout the week and usually only take it if I'm trying to go to bed but I'm not sleepy yet. Otherwise I go without it. I will not give up my ether though. I always have a fan on. The white noise drowns out your door creaking open by the monsters. Get good at eating out. That way you won't be tempted to bring your meal into bed and get crumbs everywhere. If you've ever wondered when's a good time to wash your sheets, at the very least one a week. Extra fabric softener will also treat your body nice when you got to bed. Okay, so I was expecting like sex tips. But the entire thread is tips for literally setting up, care, maintenance of a bed. Wow. I am pleasantly surprised. Two words. Weighted blanket. It feels like you're getting a whole body hug. It's amazing. Sleep naked. Try it at least once. This comment section is oddly wholesome and I really appreciate it y'all. If you shave one leg it's like sleeping with a woman every night. I recently learned that you're supposed to lie on top, rather than under, the bed. Relax and ride out sleep paralysis to lose it, don't struggle. Spining super fast can make you clip through the bed. I came here absolutely positive that I wouldn't see any NSFW comments before I got too lazy to keep scrolling and I was not disappointed. For good circulation and to prevent blood clots in the legs, it's wise to do approximately 2 minutes of vigorous air cycling upon first laying down, like as fast as your legs can go. Don't forget to support your lower back. To avoid injuring a bedmate or innocent passerby, it helps to scream, everybody out of my way, before you really pick up the pace. Bring a second cover for when she steals yours. Chocolate does not leave crumbs in bed. At least not as many crumbs as other snacks. I know this is hard for a lot of people but make your bed for sleeping. People who watch TV, play games, look at their phone, etc etc will typically have a much harder time falling asleep than people who use it for sleeping only. When sleeping is all your bed is used for, you train your brain to think, oh, now I am in bed, so that means it's time to sleep. All other distractions make it harder.